the Joe Rogan experience. I am fucking nervous. Why? For real? Yeah. Why? Uh, it's a no. It's a good thing. I haven't left my fucking house in a year. You've been I mean, totally for, locked up. Well, I mean, I, I go to the grocery store. Uh, how did you? How did you avoid getting it? You didn't get it at all, right? No. Co- the cooties. No. Because everyone I know is a shut in too, and I <laughs> fucking loved it. As it's, it's like I left a day after my year anniversary. Like I packed a week before coming here. So all you've done is go to the food store. Yep. Wow. Uh, I, I went up uh, to Phoenix for New Year's to see. Uh, it's a long story. To see a dog that I almost kept, uh, but I gave away. Anyway, so yes, basically, no, I have not <laughs> left fucking Bisbee, Arizona in a year. Wow. And I didn't think it affected me until I left. It's like if you stayed in bed for a year going, I don't need to walk. I know how to walk. And then after a year, you're like, fuck my legs. <laughs> I'm what atrophied. Feels, what feels the weirdest? Well, just figuring out how to pack for the road. I packed everything. I drove. And uh, I left Sunday to be here Wednesday. It's a 13-hour drive. I could have done it in one shot. (laughs) But I was so excited. I'm going to leave on Sunday and just take the back roads. And, uh, like, I practiced talking on the phone before I came here. (laughs) An hour and a half before, I'm just calling people. Like, I don't talk to anyone on the phone. The only time I, you know, use the phone is to figure out where to meet you to talk. I don't socialize on the phone. You and I talk maybe twice a year tops. And when I see it's you, I go, do I have an hour? (laughs) Okay, (laughs) I'll make an hour because we don't. But otherwise, so I was like, I haven't talked to people other than do you have a room available (laughs) for three days, three and a half days. So I was calling, you know, Bingo and Brian Hennigan, Go just talk to me. Like <laughs> you don't I, I packed what I thought was a carload of shit. I forgot vodka, which is my go to drink, and a shirt. I only had the T shirt that I was wearing that after three days started to stink and I went, Fuck, I didn't pack another shirt. Did you go shirt shopping then? Yeah, I went to the thrift store. Oh. Thrift store. Yeah. Of course. Yes. You notice I'm fucking I did like I brought two different suits, like goofy suits. Right. And I'm like, I've been wearing pajamas for a year. I w- I think I would be even more awkward if I was wearing a suit, especially with stupid hair. When did the goofy suits become a thing with you? Like what year? Uh, that... 1989. It started in <laughs> telemarketing because my mother would send me goofy suits like that because they had just gone out of style, like in that earlier that decade. Mm-hmm. So they're you know fucking. It's like buying acid wash jeans now. Yeah, they're a fucking nickel a pair at the thrift store. I so think we... Jamie has a few pairs. You have any of those? Acid wash sweatpants. Oh, yeah, that's right. Sweatpants. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the, the, uh, the, the, but that's your signature shit now, the, mm. the goofy suit. Yeah, and I go, I don't think I'm ready to put on a goofy suit. I don't know if it, it would clash with the goofy hair. Because people will show up at my shows in goofy suits, oh, but no. they'll have like plaid on plaid, and you go, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> like I, I accessorize perfectly in a goofy suit, but I go, I have the goofy hair now. Is mm. that like polka dots on plaid? I don't know. Right, have you gone too far? Yeah, I want to be comfortable here, so mm. I'm wearing pajamas like I have for mm. the last year. Why don't you just wear pajamas? That's what I'm wearing. Well, pajama pants. Are those pajama pants? Yeah. Okay, there you go. And this is uh, this was my old travel shirt. I wore this anytime I traveled. I'm like, yeah, I want to be comfortable. I don't want to fuck. You've stayed within your means clip. very well. Like you've never had to worry about finances. Like you've you, you, you dialed that in early. Yeah. Uh, you never fell into the trap. A lot of people do. Will they like buy a bigger house or buy a bigger yeah, car or this or that? My shit's paid for. Mm. After a year of not working, I go, ooh, I always bragged about how much fucking I don't need to work. And then I go, all right, now I'm starting to worry. Should I buy this dumb plastic shit from Amazon or not? <laughs> <laughs> when do you think you're going to start working again? Are you going to get the vaccine? I got, I got my first shot. Which one, the Pfizer or the Moderna? No, Moderna. <laughs> I got my first shot <laughs> about two weeks ago. Two weeks ago tomorrow. 
<laughs> Why is it funny? Because <laughs> I just realized I still have the fucking Band-Aid when I took a bath <laughs> last night. I'm such a fucking slothful pig when oh, it comes to bathing. That's hilarious. <laughs> and it's still there. I didn't wash that hard that it came off even <laughs> last night. They're resilient, those Band-Aids. Mm -hmm. they'll, they'll stick around for a while. Well, I'm going to get my follow-up shot two weeks from now and just from the same off. lady, and, and I, I want her to see the same dirty <laughs> bandage and make her pick it off. I know that's rude, but I think it's funny. Catch new episodes of the Joe Rogan Experience for free only on Spotify. Watch back catalog JRE videos on Spotify, including clips. Easily, seamlessly switch between video and audio experience. On Spotify, you can listen to the JRE in the background while using other apps and can download episodes to save on data cost all for free. Spotify is absolutely free. You don't have to have a premium account to watch new JRE episodes. You just need to search for the JRE on your Spotify app. Go to Spotify now to get this full episode of the Joe Rogan Experience.